Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the first International League of Legends event of 2024. Well, in a month from now. But Riot Games just released the embargo for some final information that you need to know about the event. So, this entire video is just going to be summing up what is MSI, what's the format, the venue, the ticket prices, everything that you need to know. As believe it or not, some people are new to LoL Esports each and every year, so there is a chance that people don't know this, so it's always good to recap it beforehand. First and foremost, the Mid-Season Invitational is a 12-team tournament featuring some of the top teams from Korea, China, Europe, North America, and the various regions around the world this year, all taking place in Chengdu, China. The four major regions in Korea, China, North America, and Europe will all have two teams attending, and the minor regions, including the LLA, CB LOL, PCS, and VCS will all have one. Now, an important caveat before I continue this is that the status of the VCS is kind of unknown at the moment. There's an ongoing match-fixing investigation that has impacted every single team in the league, so we don't know whether they'll end up having a representative, whether they'll send somebody that's a mix of the players that are remaining, because over half of the people involved with the VCS are currently under investigation for this, so we have no clue what to fully expect, but we will end up seeing. But regardless, the second seeds from all of the major regions will start in the play-in stage alongside the minor region teams, and they will compete for the remaining slots in the bracket stage, which is a full double elimination tournament. Play-ins is a GSL style group stage where you basically just have to win two series before you lose two, and you'll earn your way through, or at least to a qualification game to be able to get through. We'll discuss it more once the official format comes out and as we wait to see what's going on with the VCS. But just know, you win your region as a major region, you're immediately onto the double elimination knockout stage. As for the location, yes, we know it's Chengdu, China, but what about the venue? Last year we were in the... Give me a second, I gotta tire them out. Now that the embargo's up, I can finally talk about where it's gonna be held this year. It is going to be at the Chengdu Financial City Performing Arts Center, which, believe it or not, is not actually easy to find information on. This was apparently a building that started construction in 2012 and was originally planned to have four different event spaces with a max capacity at either the Opera House or the, I forgot what the other one's called, but it's basically like a orchestral place. The maximum seating for either of these was gonna be about 1500 which my initial suspicion was like damn that's low now last year i don't remember them using the copper box arena fully i don't know if like the upper ring uh was filled out and i'll put some pictures from last year's msi on screen right now they decked it out to be absolutely amazing they played fully into the london underground theme this year we have no clue what it's going to look like but i did message riot in response to the embargo saying hey uh can you tell me which of these two uh spots it potentially is going to be at and they actually responded that apparently the performing arts center underwent renovations recently and they combined the two biggest like areas so we actually have no clue what the seating capacity is i'm not sure what it looks like on the inside i can't find any pictures online because it, it's not easy to find information on China in general here in the US. But just know apparently it's a bigger venue, or at least like a theater, which is perfect for this type of setting in this environment. MSI doesn't have to be this massive venue, especially given that it takes place over the course of 14 days and we don't change location. So you want mid-size, something that you can fill out pretty consistently, while also bringing a certain level of ambiance, which to be fair, Chengdu in general already kind of accomplishes that. I'll credit the person who did like the walk around video over here, but dude, this city is unbelievably nice. Or at least the portion of it where the event is going to be held is unbelievably nice. There's these two pillar things that kind of like light up in the skyline. They have advertisements on them. I'd imagine Riot, as they have done historically, will probably pay to take them over and like put the teams on it or put the MSI logoing of some capacity on it. I don't know, it's gonna be really cool. In general, Riot has always done a phenomenal job at like making these events feel larger than life. So I'm excited to see what they do here, especially since it's in China and China has been long overdue for a good event because COVID kind of knocked them out the last two times that they had it. Next up, I'm gonna put the pricing structure of tickets here on the side because it is different based on the individual weeks that you're going. The play-in stage, week one of bracket stage, week two of bracket stage, and finals itself 
all have different pricing. The lowest range of tickets can go for about $37. The upper can go for over $100, which honestly is fairly reasonable. It's not all that expensive to be able to go to one of these events, which is actually great. At least for a day or two, you can spend $200, and yeah, that's more than enough for you. All of these tickets will be available on April 1st at 11 p.m. late at night on the West Coast, on the East Coast, April 2nd. Yeah, April 2nd at 2 a.m. our time. Obviously, they're not planning on many North American people going to this, so it doesn't have to be at a friendly time for us. And that's when we'll get our first idea of what the venue is probably going to look like. Obviously, we won't know the stage design, but like, I'm assuming they're just going to do like the traditional seating that we've seen for MSI in the past. We'll just get confirmation of that on the 2nd of April. Now, the draw show for play-ins themselves will occur immediately after LPL finals. It always happens after... Uh, the home region finally wraps up their regular season, or well, their split. So that'll be on April 20th. So it'll actually be fairly close to the event itself that we figure out who's going to be playing who. It's not like teams need more than a week to prep for their opponents anyways, but I think that pretty much covers all the bases for the basic information that you need to know for MSI. For my North American fans, I know the timing of these matches is not going to be friendly for us. Again, second international tournament in a row. The last one was in Korea, this one now in China. Games will probably start between 3 to 4 a.m. East Coast time, which, sure, sucks for us. But the next two international events should be much better, given that Worlds is in Europe, and if the trend continues, MSI next year might actually be here in North America. So we'll see. But you just got to stick it out for one more event. We can talk about the right ways to watch it to make sure that you avoid spoilers if you want in a separate video. But I just wanted to cover the basics of the tournament and the information that Riot gave us to distribute to you all. Now, as for me, I got a box to open up from one of the teams that is already qualified for MSI. You want to see this? Tune in tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. Adios.